How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Helena the Huntress Expert Mode Let's Play. So in the last episode we got a lot of stuff done. Oh, <laughs> slime. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff done. We went exploring in the jungle and got some more life crystals, uh, which really helped in our Skeletron fight. We also fought Skeletron and beat him and got the awesome Skeletron hand, which was a direct upgrade from our slime hook that we were using. We started exploring the dun the jungle, the dungeon, but we haven't been too far in there yet. So hopefully we find our cobalt shield soon because it is a very critical item, I would say. So what we're probably going to do this episode is finish exploring the ju the jungle. Why do I keep saying that? <laughs> the dungeon, and we rescued the mechanic. So we're going to do some statue fun, and Helena's going to get to slaughter a bunch of mobs and get some banners, which will be great. So we've got a lot to do guys, let's get started. Okay, so let's make our way into here and see what treasures await us in the amazing dungeon. Whoa, whoa, look at all these guys. So I checked the drop chance for the tally and it said it's got about a 1% chance from certain mobs, but I think it's pretty much all mobs in the dungeon. So we should get it sooner rather than later you would think. Because the spawn rate down here is pretty high. And I'll just get this dart trap out of the way. Lovely. And why isn't that opening? Oh, there's a little bit of stuff there. Alright, so let's take out these little guys. Very nice. Alright. Ooh, a goblin statue. That's kind of cool. I don't normally see those. Yeah, no water bolt. Hmm. Ooh, a bewitching table. That's bewitching, yeah, that's right. So, a lot of you have been asking and saying it would be cool if Helena could power up in hard mode. And, yeah, I, I kind of am open to the idea. So, keep... Oh, a water bolt, yay. <laughs> Demonic, whoa. That'd be cool if you found that early game. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I'm open to the idea. So, just chat about it in the comments. And when it gets closer to hard mode, we'll make a decision. Whoa. All right. Oh, there were some more bones. Now, we've almost got enough for the necro set which is cool oh man that's whoa careful now wow oh look at all the wow all right let's uh make a bit of a platform over and then we can just rain the punishment down on them you don't stand a chance bone guys look at that so good all right i think i think that's about all of them yeah oh and i got hit by a trap Done. Oh well. Okay. And a shield statue. Very nice. Uh, how many? Oh, we've almost got enough bones. It's going to be good. So basically, I'll craft the necro as soon as we get enough. I think it's about 150 or so we need. And cool, coolly enough, or awesomely enough, you can craft them just at a uh, crafting table, which is oh no, whoa, whoa, easy now, easy now. Wow. Okay, the Brain of Confusion comes in pretty useful here, especially when mobs are jumping on your head the whole time. Wow. Alright, let's try and take these guys out, because there's probably a lot of bones that have dropped. So we want to get them. Oh, there's the Crimson Chest. Nice, nice. I've noticed in a lot of my class playthroughs, it's we have never gotten the chest because they often don't work with our character, which is a shame because there is some cool weapons in there. Oh, Alright. Alright, how many bones? 131. We're getting closer. Oh, let's take out this guy. Nazar? Nazar for happy? No Nazar. And yes, I know some bones went there, but I'll never get out of that area unless I move on. Uh, because the mobs just keep respawning. Alright, let's get these guys. Very nice. Ooh, okay, another dark caster. Hmm. Ooh, okay. A bit dark.
And as you can see, I've got myself into an interesting situation here. I was looking for a good spot to make a mob farm and this allows me to shoot out. And I actually think Slimy is going to be better than the Hornet here. Uh, because it has an area of effect attack, uh, it'll do uh, lots of damage to all the mobs at the same time. Which is really nice. And we've gotten... Oh gosh, I took the... Um, I took the thingies down. Uh, we got a banner. Uh, I, actually, I think we got two banners. So let's see. Where ah, what's getting in here? Oh, it was the the wheel. Yeah, we got the angry bones banner, which is really really cool. Um, and we must be well on the way to some of the other ones too. And as you can see, there's some gold keys dropping, which is very very nice indeed. So this is strange, I've been here so long that the goblin has spawned, which is really nice. So let's pick up the rocket boots straight away, and we'll take his workshop as well, and I think that'll do for now. And the reason he spawned, you probably thought, well, how did he spawn when you're on screen? What I've done to this area is I've put a bit where I can get up a bit higher, and what that does is it allows mobs to spawn down below, and the goblin's gonna die unfortunately, but you know, what can you do? Um, so yeah, so I've been just been sort of going up and down, forcing mobs to respawn. Um, I can't believe I haven't got the teller yet. So I've got 10 gold keys. Um, that gold chest that was near us had a cobalt shield and just some other junk in it. But um, yeah, I can't believe it guys. I've got four angry bone banners now. And I kind of don't want to leave this spot. It's perfect for farming. So I'm happy to see how all the mobs have been spawning when I'm off screen. So I'm happy to stay here until it spawns because I think it's a good item for our adventure. It sort of shows, you know, where we're up to with different mobs spawning and stuff like that. And how many kills we've gotten, etc, etc. So yeah, it's kind of cool. I guess I'm slowly working towards the Cursed Skull banner as well. So that's another good thing too. Although I'm really surprised with the tally. Like I've probably killed... Oh, we've got 400 mobs here now, so, you know, it's a one in, it's a one in a hundred chance, so it's mathematically possible, but it's, it's very rare, you know what I mean, but, uh, we will get it soon, but I'm gonna hang out here till we get it. <laughs> oh my god, guys, it's finally happened, the tally counter, it's dropped, and I don't know if you can see from the number of angry bones, oh, my god, <laughs> I have been here for a while. 888 Angry Bones. Oh, the, the interesting thing about the tally counter, guys, is it counts even before you've got it. So, yeah, it's, um, and do you know what the funny thing is, too? I've gotten three Clothia Voodoo dolls, and they are three times rarer than the tally. So I've just had some really average uh, RNG. Uh, getting this, so I'm definitely going to favourite that. Um, yeah, so it's been crazy, but yeah, look, we've got 16 Angry Bone Banners, we've got 37 Gold Keys, this is out of control. <laughs> oh, I don't know. So, actually, I can probably leave that banner up there. Actually, I've got an extra Dark Caster too, so I might as well just leave him there. Ah, oh, I just got another Dark Caster banner. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we finally got it. I've actually killed a good number of um, dungeon slimes too, so yeah, we're well on the way to getting that banner as well, which is really nice. Although I am, oh my god, look at them all. <laughs> I am happy to move on now. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> ah! Oh, there's another one. 900 angry bones. Ah, oh, so good. And we've got a few cursed skulls, but not as many as uh, the other mobs. So what we're going to do, I don't really need much else now, so I'd just like to have a quick look and grab any um, gold chests that are nearby. 
We got the Cobalt Shield, with, which is the main thing. So, uh, yeah. It, even funnier, I had to go back to base and get more, um... Oh, I'm out of torches. I had to go back to base and get more, um... Uh, arrows, because I actually ran out of arrows. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Wow. Okay, the piggy is pretty full. Alright. Oh, okay, I've killed 17 Cursed Skulls. That's not bad. Actually, it's nice having the tally. It's good to see, like, where we're up to. Alright, so let's get the pig back. Uh, what can I get rid of? Water walking. Don't need that. Beautiful. Alright, so let's just see if there's any other gold chest nearby, which there should be. We only opened like one or two, so... Uh, okay, we didn't get that one. Beautiful. Alright. Ah, another Miramaza. I'm gonna probably swap it out for the dynamite, I reckon. Ah, I'm under attack! <laughs> under attack. Uh, we'll take the gold and the potions. Very nice. Alright, so we're just gonna have a quick look for any sort of crazy awesome loot. Like, sometimes rare potions and stuff like that are nice too. Uh, let's see. Uh, and I've got like almost 2,000 bones. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Alright. Have I been down here? Yeah, I've been down here. Alright, any more gold chests for happy? I'm sure there's a few. Alright, there's another one. Let's have a look in there. Ah, magic missile. Nice. Alright, let's just get rid of that. Uh, potions, gravitation. Yeah, we can probably use some of those. Uh, let's see. Jesters. Very nice. And let's make some room for this. Uh, I've already got a few Cthulhu eyes, so that's fine. How many of these have I killed? 144, wow. That's kind of crazy. Alright, there must be another... Oh, <laughs> there must be another gold chest, I reckon. Another one or two, surely. I mean, I've got enough keys, don't I? Oh, wow, have I not been in here yet? Whoa, I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> oh, 10 seconds off a heal. Might just take it easy for a moment. <laughs> Oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Uh-oh. Ah. No. <laughs> I don't want to die here. <laughs> oh, no, no. Okay. I think I think we're okay. Kind of. Whoa. This is crazy. Alright, got some hearts. Beautiful. Ah. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah. I'm going to escape. Let's go this way. Whoa. Hello, gold chest. Oh, dungeon sign. I want to see how many I've killed. Okay, if we can get back to it, then we can check it out. Uh-oh. We're getting cornered. Gotta take it out. Alright, where'd that dungeon sign go? Ah, beautiful. Oh, there's two. Actually, oh no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm <laughs> good. Oh, 80 hit points. Oh, no. No. Oh. Oh my god. Just hide. Just hide. Dungeon Slime 32. That's awesome. Alright, I'll just get this heal. And then let's go kill the other Dungeon Slime. Oh my god. <laughs> 32 Dungeon Slimes. That's awesome. We're so close. Okay, we've done pretty good. Almost a thousand Angry Bones. The madness, guys. The madness. Oh, wow. Okay, we've got some inventory sorting to do. <laughs> um... Because we are shock o block, and then we need to make our new boots, and yeah, we'll sort of move on with our adventure. And you're probably wondering why Yaren is running around in my ultimate world during the video. Um, and sorry to end the video a little bit early today, but I mentioned at the start of the video I had an announcement for you, and it has to do with my goal of always trying to improve uh, my videos and my content for you. I do my best, I'm always looking for new ways to edit, new music to use during the videos. I love to spend time making those little jokes during the episodes for you. And one thing I've been aware of for a while now is that my computer is getting older and it takes longer and longer to you know, edit and um, render the videos. I'm also wary that I have to keep the quality, it's not low, but it could be higher. Um, so I've finally gone out and I've saved up and I've bought a new computer and I've been spending a bit of time today setting it up because I need to get all my stuff from my old laptop onto the new PC. What does this mean for you guys? Well, I'm really excited because the first thing I want to do is increase the quality settings on my rendering program a bit. Um, so you should see an improvement in the video quality. Again, not that the quality is bad, but um, it can always be better. So yeah, I'll look at 
the next few days I'll be tweaking the settings. Um, so just keep giving me feedback, I'll keep asking for it in the comments. I might look at uh, trying to increase the frames per second too, um, and see if that makes a cool difference for you as well. So just keep that feedback coming in. Uh, another thing that is really awesome too is a lot of games that are like those 3D exploring survival crafting things that I haven't been able to play, I now can play on my new PC. Um, so a lot of you, you know, seem to like a lot of those games, so that could be a really cool thing for bonus happy as well. So I have been a bit busy getting it all set up today. I still, I didn't want to do no episodes, so I got as much recorded as I could um, on the old computer because, yeah, I just haven't finished configuring the new one yet. But I want to get it just finished, and that way I can just record from the new computer, no interruptions besides this small one today, and we can just get on with all the awesome stuff happening on our channel. So guys, thanks for your understanding. Ooh, 500 songs, yay! <laughs> um, thanks for your understanding. Um, I always feel I respect you guys too much to not give you an explanation, so that's why we've ended it a little bit early today, probably five or six minutes earlier than usual. Um, no shoutouts today, but I'll do double shoutouts tomorrow. That's right, I will do ten tomorrow, so there will be lots of shoutouts. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned for that, guys. Alright, leave a like. Thank you for your understanding. I rarely do this to you, and I think the positives that are coming out of this slight delay um, will be really, really awesome. So stay tuned for all the awesome stuff coming up on our channel, guys. And uh, here's the most important part, as always. You all stay happy. And I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day signing out. See ya. Alright, now let's find out where this lava is. Mr. Lava! <gasps> oh, goodness. Okay, we've got a heal off. Nice. Oh, he's about to go in his last form. Oh, uh, what do we- No! <laughs>